Hi guys, this is an updated video on how to pass the PCEP test. This is after the last episode on my series on how to pass the PCEP. So if you want to know what the PCEP test is, then you can watch my first episode. And if you want a review for the test, you can watch the other ones after that. Let's get started. So I only really have one main tip on how to pass the PCEP, which is to study a lot. Even if you're experienced, like me, you can still fail the test. I myself failed my first take even though I knew way more topics than the exam syllabus. I still failed because I didn't look through it and really study. So how you can access the exam syllabus is after searching PCEP, go to the page, go down, click exam syllabus, and you're brought to this page. So it shows you all the topics you have to learn before you take the test. If you're just beginning to take the if you're just beginning to learn Python, I recommend going through their Python course. You can access this by going to the website, clicking study resources. It should put you here. You scroll down and enroll for part one. Part two is for the PCAP, which is a test you take after the PCEP. So you click this page here and then enroll for the course. This course is free. There's nothing to lose, but there's so much to gain. But if you're already experienced in Python, then I recommend going through the exam syllabus and going through each and every topic one by one each period here. So that one, then this one, that one, you have to go through every single one. And then if you're a beginner after finishing the course, or if you're an experienced programmer after reviewing the exam syllabus, I recommend you going to W3 Schools. You click their link here, go to Tutorials, go to Learn Python here, and then I recommend going from Python Home to Python Functions. This basically covers the whole test. It's, it's basically a practice test that also teaches you. And then you can also search for more practice tests by just Googling PCEP practice tests or PCEP test dumps. That's basically the only tip that I can really give that's helpful, but I have one bonus tip. You should know what the output of a program is just by reading it and not by writing the code. In the test, they'll be giving you a series of programs, either a missing line and then an expected output, and you have to fill in the missing line or the program is already filled out and you have to determine the output. So, that, so that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed.